What's up, everybody? Welcome back. This is Forgo. And today we're going to show a little love to X23, similar to what we did with Rogue. Try to put this girl to the test to see what she's really capable of with a much better build than what I had previously. And currently she has 25,000 physical attack. She has max attack speed, 32 crit rate. This is a stat I definitely can bump up with some Uru. She has max critical damage, max ignore defense, and max skill cooldown. She has Mythic Physical Attack Urus in all of her slots, so I did get the Mythic Urus on her. I will put some Critical Rate Urus, but the runs you're going to see, I ran with this build, so I just wanted to show you all exactly the build I had when I did these runs. But if I had some extra Critical Rate, we would be doing more critical hits, therefore doing more damage. And unfortunately, I could only get the first gear up to 23. I just ran out of feathers. But I do plan on taking all these gears to 25. I do plan on transcending her because... She is a meta. In fact, if you use her with Valkyrie, whenever you're switching out to apply Burn from She-Hulk, you will score better because Valkyrie's Awakened skill is still on cooldown, and when you use Weapon X's Awakened skill, it's ready to go. So her, in conjunction with Valkyrie, is definitely going to be the meta team. I actually did ran, run some uh, ABX yesterday, but because... The day's already passed. I thought it'd be kind of wacky to do a, a video about ABX. So we're just going to do some world boss runs. But when I get her completely leveled up and get her completely finished, I will do an ABX run for you guys with her. All of her skills are at 6. And she still has a stage 6 Power Angry Hawk set. This is another area where I could actually bump her up, give her a little bit more attack. I mean, we're getting a 20% attack bonus by... Having this, but when this is fully awakened, you'll, this will go up to 40%. That's a massive, massive improvement. Not to mention, these stats, when they're fully awakened, will be higher. She'll have higher physical attacking stats. And I do have a CTP of Energy Honor, which I think is an excellent obelisk for this girl. She plays so well with an obelisk because of the low cooldowns, the way she plays. It's just beautiful for her. And then for her uniform, I did get it up to Legendary. I couldn't take it up anymore because I do need to get some more bios for her, which I do plan on doing. And I do have this uniform, so I could get some extra physical attack from it since I already have my critical damage max. Or put some critical rate on this uniform bonus. As far as her uniform options, Blade is the first one. I'd get some attack speed, don't really need it. We got physical attack from Yelena. We have Ignore Defense from Star-Lord. And we have a little... I could put Dodge here. Really don't need anything, to be perfectly honest. So let's jump into the action and let's rock and roll. So we're going to be using the Max team. We're going to use Nick Fury for the 50% all-attack leadership and the 55% damage out to supervillains. And also Valkyrie for the 50% damage out to supervillains and her Ignore Dodge for the next run. And you just want to use Nick Fury's attack buff and then switch to... X23 and then use her damage accumulation, her third skill, and then her awakened skill. Land the proc on the awakened skill and then afterwards you're going to do the second skill and then you want to do the four. You want to do the four so you can apply the paralysis and then you're going to use your damage accumulation from the three and then the five. So it's three, awakened skill, two, four, three, five. And then two, four, three, five. Real simple rotation and super easy to keep the proc where it belongs. A little note about X23 when you're playing her is you really want to use that paralysis to your advantage. The reason I like using it when I do is because I use it right before I use my awakened skill or right before I use my fifth skill. That way Proxima is locked down because the awakened skill, as we've established in the last video when I talked about X23, can miss. But if you paralyze Proxima, she's going to sit there and more than likely you will get off your all defense down from the awakened skill on proxy or whatever world boss you're facing. Now here I kind of pushing, I just went ahead and hit the three and then the awakened skill and we did get it. And this is stage 80. And I mentioned in the last video where she was really well built, she's probably gonna be around the stage 80, but actually I think she actually can go quite a bit higher because I do have a stage six ISO eight set. I don't have the max critical rate. And these things do play a, a massive factor and her uniform is at legendary. So we could be gaining some extra physical attack from her uniform bonus, a little, you know, an extra 2% attack from the uniform stats. And that would make her a little bit better. I imagine on my account with 55% physical attack and no pierce that she could probably do around stage 85 probably. 
which is pretty damn good. I mean, it's not what we all wanted. It's not what we all really expected because the Wolverines seem to get kind of crapped on over and over and over. But I don't think she got crapped on. I mean, on, in all honesty, she is so much stronger than what she was before. And, and like I said earlier, I mean, she is going to be an ABX meta. She is useful. She is relevant. And that's honestly, that's really all I wanted for her personally. I just wanted her to be relevant in the game. Now, I'm not using the Awakened skill because we're already down to the, la the end of the seventh bar to move Proxima in the next phase. But... Am I happy with X-23's rework? To a point I am. I mean, again, because she is actually going to be relevant. She's going to be a lot easier to do ABX with than Valkyrie, I can tell you that. She's so much easier to play. I don't think she's stronger than Valkyrie, but she's just easier to play. And she really doesn't require Rage. Yes, with a Rage, you'll do more damage in ABX. That's been confirmed. But... The energy still does really, really well. Or just a regular damage proc if you don't have an energy or have a rage. So, in that respect, X-23 has a lot of value for a lot of players. You know, I wanted her to be stronger for sure. But you can't deny that she does have some power. I mean, stage 80 really is uh, impressive for the character that isn't even transcended. Think about that. This character is not transcended, and, and she does this, and she has a stage 6 ISO 8 set, right? I could still make her quite a bit stronger. When she's transcended, she's going to get a nice physical attack stat bump, and she's going to get an HP bump, which is actually going to help her survivability and make her a lot better. So, I mean, I imagine, I mean, I said stage 85 earlier, but I wasn't even taking into account the transcendence. She probably might be able to do stage 90. And again, if you have Penetrate, or I'm sorry, Pierce on your cards, she's going to be flying through stage 99s. I, I guarantee it, she will. She's going to be doing stage 99s. Now, from what I understand, she's not still not going to be the greatest against Null, which is a bummer. I mean, that, it, that does suck. I, mean, I really did want her to be good for Null because that is a game mode that a lot of people prioritize since we actually do get game mo uh, good rewards from it. However, she still has a place. You know, there is still a place for her in the game. We are going to be using her. We are going to get to play her, unlike what we had before, which was nothing. She was strictly Shadowland. And stage 80 with 50 seconds left, this is not too bad. This is actually a pretty good clear, considering I don't have the max build with 55% physical attack. Now let's move on to the next run. So this is stage 85 against Corvus, and that ignore dodge from Valkyrie really comes in handy against this bastard. So we got the 30% ignore dodge from her. We have the 27% ignore dodge from the CTP of energy. So we only needed two ignore dodge strikers. And then we just have damage dealt to supervillain strikers. And again, something that is nice about X-23 is she has that paralysis. So you don't, like, having mind control isn't a big deal for her. Because, again, she goes in this long iframe on the fist skill. The boss sits there, doesn't do anything during that fist skill. And then you can use the paralysis a little bit afterwards to lock him or her down and it's just it's nice and you know i am utilizing nick fury i want to utilize his buffs we got caught in that tornado took a little bit of damage surprisingly we didn't die and there our proc actually triggered on the third skill so we didn't quite get as much damage as we want but man she is super super fast paced and you can play so aggressive with her and this is something i really love about her now you know to be fully transparent with all of you I'm mainly just probably going to use her in ABX, obviously, because I prioritize Null, and I'm sure a lot of you do as well. But if you're not fighting Null yet, and you are trying to be ABX competitive, then you really should get this uniform and awaken her if that's what you're trying to do. If you're not worried about ABX, then I probably would skip on it if you don't really care about trying to move up in Shadowland, to be perfectly honest. But again, if you have Pierce on your cards... I mean, all your characters are going to do better. That's really the whole thing. I'll actually be uh, pretty excited to actually put some Pierce on my cards. So that way, these clears will be a lot easier. And characters will get showcased a little bit better, to be honest. You know, they'll be able to do higher clears. Not really showcase better, but they'll be able to do higher clears, right? And that's going to be pretty sweet. And we don't want to use our Awakened skill. We're almost down to the end here. And, and she could go higher than this. She could go higher than stage 85. I tried stage 90 uh, quite a few times. It proved to be a little bit difficult. 
uh, since Corvus sometimes will run around a little bit, I mean, even though we have the paralysis and you have the long iframe on the fist skill, uh, Corvus can slip away once in a while and it does make it a little bit difficult. And tornadoes are a nightmare for X23. There we go, come on. Let's go, let's go. Oh, that was beautiful. Got the attack buff, got the awakened skill, the all defense down from it. Hell yeah. Very sweet. I mean, really the only thing about her that really kind of screws you up is sometimes the proc won't trigger early on in the fifth skill. Like, it seems like you got to do a few hits before it actually triggers, which is kind of funky because she does a lot of hits on the fifth skill, but it does seem like sometimes the proc will come a little bit late and we just lost Nick Fury, which really sucks. So now we can't get that attack buff from him, but it's all good. It's all good. Gotcha. Gotcha, punk. And this is impressive. You know, it's not top-notch. It's not over-the-top power, right? But it is still pretty good. Like I said, if this girl was transited, we'd be doing stage 90-plus right now. And whenever I get those gears leveled up, when I get enough feathers and I get those gears leveled up, I'm going to transcend this character. I guarantee it. I definitely plan on doing it because I am ABX competitive. I do want to score as much as I can in that game mode. And she's going to be a great asset for it. And really, I just want to see what she can do when she's transcended, to be perfectly honest. Because I do plan on crafting my cards. I'm just, all I'm doing is grinding out those cubes from GBR. That's all I'm doing right now. Once I get enough cubes, and I have enough cubes, where I can craft one full card, that's what I'm going to do. I mean, even if you have 2% pierce, it'll make a massive difference on your account all right, all right here we go oh crap see now that really sucked there i went to use my awakened skill and then corvus went into his bull crap purple attack there which really sucked so we just wasted our awakened skill luckily we're doing this fast enough and that's kind of the thing about facing corvus every once in a while they'll do the old slipperoo and <laughs> You just, you're going to have to switch your character. You know, you'll do a, the purple attack and you really want to get out of there. As good as X-23's survivability is, you really do want to get out of there. And there we got caught by the tornadoes. Oh, you're going down, buddy. You're going down. And almost. Boom. 40 seconds to spare. Stage 80 of Proxima. Stage 85 of Corvus. Just Awakened. Non-Transcended. Stage 6 Ice Away set. Legendary uniform, so it is a pretty, it's a leveled up uniform, but it isn't maxed out. So is it super impressive? No, not really, but it is still pretty good. And again, if you have a little pierce on your card, she is going to be an ABX meta. She's going to shine a whole lot more. So let me know what you think about X23 getting it done. And as always, I stream on Twitch at Reset. The link will be in the description below. And I hope you enjoyed the video. Thank you for watching. Y'all take care and have a good one.